What's up guys, my name is Julio and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a super easy picture transfer onto a piece of wood. This gives a vintage kind of worn out antique look which I dig. So sick. I'm sorry if I look like I'm about to die. I'm so tired today. I woke up at 5 a.m. and I've just been tired all day. My eyes look like I just smoked a big fat one but I didn't. I'm just so tired. This project is so easy to do. You can literally pull it off in like 5 minutes. So if you're bored on a Friday night with your friends your family and you just want something to do then give this a try and I'm rambling too much so let's get right into the tutorial so for this you're gonna need a piece of wood I cut mine to the size of printer paper which is 8.5 by 11 inches but any size will work you will also need whatever picture you want to print onto the wood these were the two I chose and I just made them the size of printer paper and then you're gonna need some gel medium which will help your picture adhere to the wood and will help the ink set in and then of course your brushes so you can apply the gel medium onto the wood and some Mod Podge which will help set in the ink and prevent it from smearing. Start by applying your gel medium onto the wood and you want to make sure that you apply a lot of it because what the gel medium will do is it will help the picture adhere better onto the wood so the more you have the cleaner and sharper your picture will look. And then of course just spread that out evenly, make sure you don't have any globs because that will show on your picture. So make sure that it's spread out nice and evenly throughout the wood. Now just take whatever picture you're using and place it on top of the wood, making sure that it is nice and even and that you push out any air bubbles because that will also show on your picture. So just try to get it as smooth as possible. Just a quick tip for you guys, before you print your picture, make sure that you flip the image on itself so that everything that was on the left side will be on the right side because essentially what you're doing with this transfer is creating a mirror image so everything will be backwards. So yeah, just make sure that you flip the image so that when you actually transfer the picture, everything will be how you want it and it won't look weird. I am doing two picture transfers, so I am just showing you the second picture here, but everything that I'm doing is exactly the same as I did before. So yeah, just follow the steps and you can make as many as you want. It's super easy, fun, and quick to do. Once you have all your pictures on your wood, make sure that you leave them to dry overnight. And I'm serious, you have to leave them drying overnight because otherwise the gel medium will not set and your pictures will not turn out. And then the next morning, just grab a wet towel or a wet cloth that you have hanging around and wet all the paper, which will make peeling off a lot easier. Once the paper's all wet, start scrubbing it off with that same towel until your picture is revealed. And I have to say this does take some time, so just be patient because at the end it's going to end up looking sweet and all that scrubbing you did is all going to pay off. Another quick tip to make your life easier is to wet the picture a lot because the wetter it is, the easier it will be to peel off. Just be careful not to overdo it because it might peel off your picture as well. And you should end up with something like this. Let me know down in the comments if you like this idea because I am so obsessed. Again, I'm just showing you the second picture that I did. Everything is exactly the same. I started off by wetting the paper and then just scrubbed it all off. And to finish off, just add some Mod Podge, which will help seal everything in and prevent the ink from fading away. Just smooth out everything nice and evenly throughout the wood. And don't worry, this does dry clear, but just to be safe, smooth out any globs that might affect the quality of your picture.
Well, there you have it, guys. A super easy picture transfer onto what I hope you guys learned something new. And if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I would highly, highly appreciate it. And make sure to subscribe to this channel and tell all your friends to subscribe as well. I will see you next week. Stay tuned for more awesomeness. I do apologize for not uploading as often as I would like. I've just been busy with work and stuff like that. But I will try to get my shit together and get on track and upload again. So make sure that you tune in every Friday for English videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next week. Bye.